Hey everybody, it's the 13th Wolfman. Uh, man, I went out today, saw a movie, uh, but that's it, it just kind of sucks that right now AMC is going through this, I don't want to say renovation, but I do want to say like a, like a new outlook. They're trying to try, they're trying new stuff. First they got rid of the, the morning shows during the weekdays. Okay. So we were like, okay, well, we'll go on Saturdays. Well, the last few Saturdays, it's like, that it's been fine because there's been a new movie out that they're showing before noon, you know, because if you watch a movie after, after the noon hour, the price goes up. But this week, there's really nothing. It's like everything that was, uh, everything that was before, you know, noon last week. So... We had to go to a movie that was after the noon hour. Um, we saw Megan Levy, which I've been wanting to see. Don't get me wrong. It just sucks that, you know, that it's it's not there for us to watch earlier. Uh, so if you haven't seen Megan Levy, Megan Levy stars Kate Mara, one of the two very beautiful and sexy Mara sisters. You got Rooney, you got Kate. Um... But yeah, this has Kate Mara in it. Kate Mara basically plays Megan Levy, who is a social screw-up. You know, she she didn't really fit in in high school. She uh, she hung out with her best friend for a long time after that. And they were both popping pills and drinking beer. And her best friend died. Her, her life went into a tailspin and she became more of a screw-up. She just didn't have any drive anymore. You know? Her dead-end job was she was fired from that she didn't get along with her mom and one day she just figures you know she there's nothing holding her back in this in this little town in New York uh, so she vows to get out she wakes up one morning joins the joins the Marines and she's off when she gets into the Marines she's not really disciplined yet she is a she's still a screw up she's just wearing marine uniform you know well she finally finds something that she wants to do she wants to join the the patrol unit that has dogs that sniff out bombs and to do that she asked the gunnery sergeant who's in charge what do i have to do to get on this team and he gave her a list of stuff to do you got to make pfc you got to you got to hit 90% in your shooting courses, you know, all of them. You, you know, you got to do all these things and then, just then, you might make the team. So she buckles down and she starts, she starts training harder, uh, doing everything that she can and she makes it onto the squad, you know. Along, when she makes the squad, she gets hooked up with this uh, vicious... I mean, just, it didn't seem like Rex liked anybody, but this vicious dog, and she bonds with them, they wind up in a, in a war stuff, and uh, it goes on from there. I don't want to give away too much, this is a really good movie, you know, um, this is definitely, it's a family movie, I, I could say that, because there's not really a whole lot of blood, there's not a whole lot of sex, and I I think they only swear a few times, and I think that uh, I can't even think of what the hardest word is. I'd probably ass, you know. Um, but it's it's a good movie. I liked all the actors. Um, Common, the rapper, plays plays uh, the gunny, the gunnery sergeant, and it was kind of funny. It's like while I was watching it. His acting came off kind of wooden, kind of like he just didn't quite. He was trying. He sounded to me like he was trying to be tougher than he really is, and it it just kind of threw me off. I'm like, why does that just? It, I don't. I honestly I don't follow rap, so I'm not quite sure who Common is or what is, but it just didn't feel like he fit the role for me until I saw the name afterwards. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's why you know, not. Not every rapper is a great actor, and not every actor is a great rapper, you know. So, 
So yeah, uh, when it comes down to it, this movie is definitely worth seeing. If you get a chance to see it in the theater, see it in the theater. If not, wait for home media, but it's definitely worth a worth the pickup. I would give it uh, I'd give it three and a half chainsaws out of four. Mama Wolf, I'm not sure. I, I she'd probably give it three. She she's over there going like this. <laughs> so actually she's doing it the, the way everybody else does it. What's that? Like this. I do this. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I give it three and a half chainsaws out of four. It's a good movie. It's a it's a decent movie with a decent story based on a true story. Now this is where everything gets a little foggy. Right? I know that when it comes to true story movies, they always take um, liberties with the movies. You know, to add a little more drama. You know? And I'm not quite sure what was added and what was subtracted from this, but it's still a good movie overall. Tell me what you think. Have you seen this movie? Is Me Did you like Megan Levy? Uh, comment down below. Like, subscribe, share, and always comment. You know, uh, I'm the 13th Wolf fan, and of course, I'm on the prowl.